The Xeon Crane M3 is the first in the M series to specifically support medium sized mirrorless cameras and not just point and shoots or other small cameras. When I first took a look at the Crane M3, I was rather surprised because as you can see, it's similarly sized to the M2, but has a bigger axis and so is the payload because the M2 was really just designed for small cameras, action cams or point and shoot cameras. And now the M3 is definitely made for mirrorless cameras with a heavier payload. While the manufacturer doesn't specify the maximum payload, there's a list of compatible camera and lens combinations. This also means that Gion offers custom quick-release plates to fit specific camera models. There are two main features which I personally think are worth mentioning. The first one is not just really a feature but rather an accessory. As you can see, it's this little extension base down here which is mounted and it actually has electronic contacts. I'm just going to remove it now. And this also has a 6.5 millimeter input and this is meant for microphones which means you can plug in a microphone down here and then the signal is going to receive up here by the camera and that way there's no interference, there are no issues with cables because if you plug in a cable up here and the axis move around there's certainly going to be issues and the balance is going to be thrown off. So I personally think this is one of the biggest features even though it's not included in the basic package. If you do a lot of news or documentary work, a lot of walking and talking shots, I think this extension is definitely worth getting. The audio cable from the camera itself can be connected via a 3.5mm jack to the gimbal on the top without touching any axis. Below is a USB-C camera port to be able to control the camera settings directly with the gimbal like recording, ISO, shutter speed or aperture. This can be done with a wheel on the back of the grip. The second feature is the LED light that is built in right next to the camera mount. On the left side of the grip is a dedicated light wheel. By long pressing the wheel, the light turns on or off. By pressing the wheel quickly, the light changes between brightness and color temperature. The brightness of 800 lumen is pretty impressive for such a small kit and not just useful for outdoor night shoots, but also for most indoor shoots even in daylight. The Kelvin value goes from 2600K to 5400K. While this feature is probably aimed at social media content creators, this can be useful for walk and talk shots, even when doing documentary or news work. The menu screen is bright and the settings are easy to read. The mode can be changed in the menu by using the touchscreen interface or simply by pressing the M button multiple times. By long pressing the M button, the gimbal goes into sleep mode, which means the stabilization is turned off. When long pressing the black button on the back of the grip below the wheel, the gimbal switches to go mode. When short pressing the same button twice, the axes go back into center position. Charging the gimbal via USB-C takes around 2 hours when using a fast charger. The battery life lasts for 6 to 8 hours depending on the settings and of course if the light is being used or not. Considering the small size, the runtime is pretty good and even if you're on the go you could still charge the gimbal with a power bank. When it comes to the ergonomics and the build quality of the M3, the gimbal feels well built even though the grip and the control buttons are made from plastic. All axes can be locked which makes it much safer to walk around with the gimbal turned off to avoid any damages from the spinning axis. Since the grip is very short, I highly recommend mounting the tripod as an additional grip below. On the left side of the grip next to the menu is a 1-4 inch screw in to mount accessories like a handle or a monitor.
While it's possible to fit some small mirrorless cameras on the older Crane M2, it was always meant to be used with compact cameras. The Xeon Crane M3 is certainly made for mirrorless cameras, but it's not compatible with every setup due to the size and weight limit. The custom QR plates make it easy though to quickly mount a camera and also to remove it. If you tend to shoot with very lightweight setups or travel a lot, this gimbal is certainly worth taking a closer look at. In the end it really comes down to the specific camera model and lens you are using because it has to be compatible not just from the size and the weight but of course also from the features. If it's not supported you cannot really do this much with a gimbal. Of course you can still get stable shots but you can for example not control the ISO or start and stop recording etc. Because that's really what you want to be able to do with a gimbal like this one. Because this is less of an entrance gimbal and rather advanced. Because if you only shoot with very very small cameras, action cams or point and shoots, I think the Crane M2 is still a good choice. But if you shoot with bigger mirrorless cameras, then I think this is definitely worth taking a look at. That's it from me and I'll see you next time.